the next months will change your life. And here's why we're breaking this multi-month downtrend right now. It is in progress and we just need to confirm this breakout because once we do, we'll see price or at least the altcoin market cap increase and try and revisit this $780 billion level. So we're gonna be talking about this chart as well as a wide variety of different charts when it comes to altcoins. So subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Like this video if you enjoy content like this going forward and let's dive right into it. So when we look back to as far as mid 2021, notice that we saw altcoin market cap really tremendously overextend towards the upside, experience its harsh correction, and then form a support at this region before enabling a, a rally to new all time highs for altcoin market cap. Just notice that in 2023 and early 2024, we built a reaccumulation range here before rallying to new highs for altcoin market cap in 2024, and now experiencing that massive correction. But just notice that we are producing downside wicks into this same reaccumulation area from earlier this year, into that same support area from the most bullish moments in the previous bull market. So just notice how there's a change in how buyers are aggressively buying up altcoins on this correction. You can see that there are downside wicks here with intent to get into this historical demand area. In fact, digging very deeply into this region of liquidity in this downside wick, but trying to get there in these downside wicks. Whereas only a few months ago, we were building actual candle bodied regions here, a cluster of altcoin market cap dollar figures occurring in this liquidity region, building a base here before rallying higher. The same thing really here, this sort of base for a pullback bottom before rallying higher. We're seeing a shift in the buy side mentality in this region, and that's really enabling price or at least the altcoin market cap to form a base a little bit higher. So in fact, we're having this higher low develop. If you can just see the difference between these two, these three bases here, we're forming a higher low here, which is just showcasing that we don't see, we don't need to see a deeper correction in altcoins because we're finding that buy side pressure at higher regions, which is enabling this historic potential breakout beyond this multi-month downtrend. Breaking out through here would enable a revisit of $780 billion level, the $80, $780 billion level, apologies. And then at that point, we'd have a decision on overextending higher, overextending higher and maybe even rallying to new all-time highs for old coins over the coming period. But to get there, we need to break this downtrend. And so far, we're in a really good position and we're seeing a lot of old coins already positioning themselves for fantastic downtrend breakouts. Whiff, Dog Whiff Hat is one of those coins. We're seeing a macro downtrending channel structure, really a massive multi-month structure developing here and a weekly close just like this is going to break this diagonal downtrend quite comfortably, which would be a far cry from what we saw here where we saw a weekly close below this diagonal resistance to reject price lower into the structure. And the same thing here as well. So a weekly close just like this is going to kickstart that uptrend to as high as $2.52. But that would be more in the short term because whenever we see a macro downtrend and macro structure like this breakout, we're gonna see a new macro uptrend emerge from that. So really important that we don't see upside wicking like this beyond that black diagonal resistance, and instead we see a candle close just like this because that would confirm the downtrend, this multi-month downtrend as over and the beginning of a new macro uptrend in the short term, midterm and more longer term targets going forward. So Tau is another one, bit tensor that we were covering and we covered this actually in the newsletter. So only a few days ago in my altcoin newsletter here at Direct Capital Newsletter, we were talking about general phases for different altcoins with stacks, for example, being in price compression. It's since broken now actually, bit tensor, current phase breaking out 38%. So maybe let's dive into uh, bit tensor because we were talking about how we'd broken this macro downtrend right over here that transitioned into reaccumulation 
building this ascending triangle, and it needed to get to this green circled region to perform a very similar situation to what we saw back here. And of course, over time, we broke this region. We've rallied even higher than that because <laughs> you can see we've broken that from this ascending triangle. Really important to build a support around $521 just to enable a situation where we're able to build on this uptrend and build on this momentum. And the reason I'm talking about Tao is because it is a market leader. So watch how it macro downtrend broke, transitioned into a reaccumulation period, and then rallied into its next leg. Notice how FET is doing something similar. Macro downtrend breakout and potentially transitioning into this sideways range here, this reaccumulation structure. And just notice how that's essentially this on Tao. And in the future, BitTensor would break out here, leading the market. And just notice how maybe FET needs to consolidate a little bit here after breaking its macro downtrend before rallying even higher than that in the future. So in fact, going back to an altcoin market cap update that I shared here in the Rect Capital newsletter on Vanry, Injective, Fetch. Let's just move past Vanry because that's in the free version that you click. You can click into that in the free version in the description down below. Here's Injective, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But Fetch here, you can see how we were talking about this retest, breaking that downtrend before transitioning towards revisiting the range high. And of course, we broke out 26% over time, revisiting this range high. And now going forward, I talk about the signals, the confirmation that you need to have before you rally higher. But I also talk about how we could see some sort of consolidation in this reaccumulation range if we don't get that confirmation of going further towards the upside. And Injective is going to be the next coin that I talk about here. And we've been covering Injective in this altcoin market cap from its downtrending wedging structure here to breaking out 21% towards the upside from there and now watching out for two key levels, whether that's confirmation towards the upside or going for that post breakout retest to fully confirm that this macro downtrend is over before experiencing trend continuation towards the upside. So we cover these coins quite regularly. So if you wanna sign up for the free Rex Capital newsletter in the description down below, feel free to click there so that you're abreast of all of these different altcoin changes because you can just see here from Injective as well that it's forming the same pattern as Fetch. It's forming a downtrending resistance, breaking out and potentially developing a reaccumulation range as well. Very similar to Fetch, what it's doing right now. So it is lagging. Both Injective and Fetch are potentially lagging behind BitTensor in the sense that they broke their macro downtrends and may be developing reaccumulation ranges from which they'll break out in the future to follow bit tensor. So essentially what I'm saying here is that this macro downtrend has broken. We've transitioned into this period for injective fetch probably. And then they're going to transition into this period, trying to catch up with bit tensor. Bit tensor is obviously a leader, whereas fetch and injective are slight laggards, but they seem to be following in BitTensor's footsteps, and it'll take some time for them to potentially develop some sort of reaccumulation ranges before rallying and following BitTensor. And when it comes to Tia, Celestia, it's breaking out from its falling wedge structure as well, rallying towards the upside. Maybe we do get a reaccumulation period as well for Tia in the future before expanding towards the upside as well. And EGLD, some of the older coins could be doing the same thing where they're breaking out from downtrending channels and then transitioning into reaccumulation ranges, whether it's gonna be this wide or maybe a little bit narrower. The point is that we're seeing a lot of these coins break out right now. And we talk a lot about these altcoin coins in Direct Capital newsletter. So feel free to sign up by clicking in the link in the description down below. I don't talk about altcoins too often here on the channel because I prefer to focus more on Bitcoin, but in the newsletter, it's really heavy on altcoins. And I think that newsletter is gonna benefit you in your altcoin investing going forward, especially since we have a very bullish quarter for this year ahead of us. So feel free to sign up to the free Rect Capital newsletter in the link in the description down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Like this video if you'd like to see more altcoin content like this going forward. I'm Rect Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.